Welcome to Tennessee Buck Outdoors. Today we're making crock pot or slow cooker meatloaf. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I just want to add one can of mixed vegetables. Then I'm going to add a little bit of pepper to it. Kosher salt. Next, we're going to go ahead and add our hamburger meat. All we want to do is just go ahead and mix that up. Now this right here, if you wanted to, you could add uh, stove top stuffing. That will help absorb some of the grease. If anybody's watched my uh, Dutch oven meatloaf, you can use the same recipe. <coughs> Excuse me, same recipe for this. Now, we're going to add some uh, green peppers. And we're going to add some onions. There we go. And we're going to start mixing again. Now when it comes to a crock pot, meatloaf, slow cooker, whatever you want to call it, of course crock pot was the original, uh, that's one of those deals once again that it gives you time to do what you want to do after you get it, get it going. But mine's going to be a little bit different, so it's time to put it in the crock pot. Okay, now we're going to get it into the uh, crock pot slash slow cooker. I'm using these uh, from Reynolds, from Reynolds Kitchen, slow cooker liners because, once again, I don't like a lot of mess. So we're going to put that, we'll put that on there like that. I made some little bitty aluminum balls for the simple reason on my pan. I've cut some uh, grains in it. And we'll set the pan right there. Next, we'll start putting in the meatloaf. Now, what the what, the reason I I do that is it helps the grease. It won't get all the grease, but it'll get the grease out of the meatloaf. Now, 
I'm gonna go ahead and you can turn this on low for in about eight hours it's done but I want it for lunch so I turned it on high so it should be done around lunch now normally I put uh, ketchup but I'm going to use tomato paste what it is but a lot of people say well you got to keep talking well if you ain't got nothing to say of course you probably heard one of the boys sneeze but anyway normally you use ketchup oh you can also put bacon in this we got some good old country ham that's also good but anyway anywho whatever So there you go. Nothing but a thing, Choo Choo Train. So we've got it set on low, I mean high. We got it up on its little uh, pedestal so the grease can drain. We got the Reynolds uh, film in there. Now we just put the lid on and let it do its thing. So. We'll come back in a couple of hours and just look at it, but it'll be perfect for lunch. All right, it's been about four and a half hours. We're going to go ahead and check it, see what it's like. You like my little mitt? I had that thing for years. All right, my little instant read. 179 and saying 190 about 190 so we're good clean that off now now you don't have to use a pen I like using the pen There we go. Look at it. Looks good. All right. Okay. As you can see, finished the meatloaf. It looks great. I'm going to sit down and take a little bite or two. This is Jeff. Thanks for watching. And if you like my station or channel, subscribe down below and leave me a comment. It's been Tennessee Buck outdoors.